to what's going on. Back at it. Um, I got the seats wired up. Uh, I know it looks kind of tacky in here a little bit, but this right here is the uh, the main switches that come off of the panel from the Impala, the 95 Impala. It sits on the armrest. This is the passenger side of the 95 Impala. This right here is the driver driver side. I didn't need the window switches. I went ahead and took them out and um, got them wired up. So what you do, you just cut the wire and uh, you just match up the colors from the seat to your switch. And uh, once you do that, you, you pretty much got everything under control. It's going to be a black wire that you need to run, which is that one right there. Just run it to the floor. And um, your main hot wire is your orange wire. I just found out that that's your main hot wire. So you want to run that to a, a 20 amp fuse or any kind of like a, a 12 volt um, source. And then um, once you do that, you get your ground cut under control. Then on this side, it's the same way. You want to go ahead and get your orange wire run it to the same wire that's over here on your driver side and then run it to a main hot hot source and then just like over here you want to do the ground the black wire run it to the floor to the ground for the ground so you can have a, a good ground you know that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and show you how this side works. I think in the last video I told you that the seat was kind of too, too forward. I'm going to go ahead and test it. There you go. Moving on back. I ain't got it, I ain't got it, bolted down, but it's all the way back. And, um, once I go ahead and slap in a bolt just to hold it down. I'm gonna grab a bolt for it right quick. I had to try, like I said, I didn't, that green wire I thought that was the hot, and um, it's a reason to blow a couple of fuses, I'm gonna get those straight, but um, that's your main wire right there, the hot, and this is your ground. So it's pretty much simple, man. I, I swear I advise anybody to find 95 Impala seats, and if you wanna put them in a box Chevy, do that, cause that's the best, simple way to do uh, interior swap. It's very easy and it's very like modern and it's, it's, it's simple man. It's very simple. Um, that's it man. It's, 
I, I, it's, it's words can't explain, man. It's, you know, you, you see all these guys, they, they they do all this stuff, the cars, and it's yeah, it's so simple, man. It's very simple. It just takes time to do it, and um, you know, just think about what you're doing, and you know, don't give up. I just don't want to stop playing with it, really. <laughs> now, try to tilt. There you go. Tilt. I think he's going to be he's going to be the first one in our town where I stay at. You know, with the box with a 95 interior with working seat. There's no other one around here. No other one. Yeah, you got them out there in states, Texas, and all them big states. But little old town where I'm at, it's the first one. The first one. The first one. Every, the working seat, center console going to be in. And um, that's it. Seats all working, though. So, so, uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm doing pretty good, man. So, uh, I got some more content coming with the, uh, Camaro. I not forget about that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do like a relocation of the battery box for the battery. I'm going to get a battery box in the back. And, uh. That's going to be a good video for that. And, uh, yeah, man, that's it. So, like, share, subscribe. I mean, if you got any kind of questions, let me know. You know, I can help you out, man. It's, for something like this, it's pretty simple, man. I just, I'm just learning as I go. So, um, leave any kind of comments. Uh, if you need help, you know, I, I'm going to uh, do my best to try to help you. And, um, we out, man. So, like, share, subscribe. We out.